this beautiful one. We have come to the end of the journey that started eight weeks ago. Today, we are concerned about revision, revision, revision. All that we have tried to do in the last seven weeks, including today, we are going to wrap it up. And once again, the course is BFN. 104 element of banking and i remain your facilitator johnson oko watch out interact ask all the questions and we will provide answers to them while i wish you a very resounding success in your exams Yes, by way of what we are expected to have covered in this course, at the end of this course, like we stated earlier when we commenced, students should have been able to define what a bank is. Students should be able to state the characteristics of money. Students should be able to justify the establishment of Central Bank of Nigeria, the APES Bank, and students should be able to discuss the relationship between customers and banks. Again, students should be able to identify the various sources of funding available and which of these sources or sources is appropriate at any given time. Furthermore, students should be able to distinguish between savings and investments, as well as how to know how to maximize investment opportunities when they see them. Again, students should be able to state the prospects and problems of non-interest banking in Nigeria. And also, students should be able to differentiate between money markets and capital market operations in Nigeria. Students should be able to justify uh, the need for financial statements and also know how to interpret them. Again, and the last, students should be able to contribute to scholarly thoughts in banking and finance as affects improving the economic growth and development of Nigeria and other emerging economies in the world. So the course content, like we looked at previously when we started, we actually divided this course into eight weeks, and today. It's going to be the last week and is dedicated to revision. We started with week one, which we call general introduction of the course. We had to unfold the course plan and the course description. And then also we also discussed on how the course, the examination of the course will be done. And the examination takes 70 marks and the TMA takes uh, 30 marks. We also said that there's going to be discussion forum and some of us have followed uh, through. Uh, week two, we talked about the concept of banking and the Nigerian banking structure. Week three, we talked about development of money and its characteristics. Week four, we talked about savings and investment. And week five was dedicated to bank payment system and bank lending. Week six, we discussed bank customers and accounts types. And week seven, we talked about, that was the last uh, topic, we talked about financial statements and their interpretation. Finally, today is dedicated to revision, revision, revision. That's the last topic. And we are um, actually happy to have it here. Much of what we do today will be questions and answers. The highlights of what we tried uh, to have done in this course, we recall that we define a bank as an outfit legally registered to asset funds and other valuables for safe keeping. So one thing is so sure for you to go into the business of banking, it must be legally registered to asset funds 
not just any athlete. That was what was happening in the very past before the introduction of legislation. That's prior to the legislation, the first legislation or the first ordinance of 1952. The era we described as the free uh, banking era. So what banking business is also discussed and defined as the process of legally organizing an outfit to create, to keep and manage as well as transfer money from one person to another, from one business to another business, and in a nutshell, transferring funds from the software sector of the economy to the deficit economic agents or units. So by way of highlights too, we also look at central banking, which is the APS bank. It is the regulator and the supervisory body of the financial system. We also look at commercial banking that talks about retail banking. They accept deposits and also make payments. We also talked about uh, merchant banking. That's the hosted bank and has a threshold attends to corporate customers. We talked about development banking where we mentioned that we have banks that are established to service the specialized sectors, key sectors of the economy. For instance, the Bank of Industry and the Bank of Agriculture. We also looked at mortgage bank or mortgage banking. Mortgage banking that takes care of the development of the housing sector of the economy. It gives loans for building purposes. We also talked about microfinance banking that targets the economically active poor, the low income earners, and the unbanked, as well as the underserved, particularly the vulnerable group, the youth and the women. So now that we've had a foray of what we've done so far, we are going to look at sample questions so that when you get to the exam hall, you will not um, have to fidget. So this is how the question is going to be. We have the fill in the blank question, and we also have the multiple choice question. For instance, this is an example of fill in the blank space question. And we have a question like West African Currency Board was established when? That's established dash dash dash. So you're expected to fill in the year in this instance. Once you see fill in the blank, you're expected to fill in the year. And the exact year, otherwise the system will not recognize it. So you have here 1912 as the answer. You fill in 1915, 1913, 1950, you'll be marked wrong. Or if you fill in uh, 2012, or you leave a space, you'll be marked wrong. Another sample question of FBQ is still on West African Currency Board. We say West African Currency Board was replaced by what? Dash, dash, dash. So you should be able to fill. Here you will have two possible answers. So the lecturer is conscious of that and we suggest two possible answers to this system. And these possible answers are the Central Bank of Nigeria in full and the Central Bank of Nigeria as acronym. So by way of class activity, yes, that's going to be on multiple choice. The banking ordinance that led to the establishment of the Central Bank of Nigeria was established in which year? So now we have options. Option 1, 1956. Option B, 1957. Option C, 1958. And option D, 1959. So here you are expected to choose the correct option. Once you stick, you will be scored 100% on that option. So the correct option is 1958. That was when the first ordinance, or the ordinance that led to the establishment of the Central Bank of Nigeria was established. 
Recall, the Central Bank of Nigeria was established in 1958, but only started operations in 1959. Another sample question is on multiple choices. The desire to hold cash in order to take advantage of emerging future opportunities is described as what? Recall that when we looked at the motives for holding money, we have defined them as, according to Keynes, as precautionary motive, transactive motive, and speculative motive. They are also known as the demand for holding money. So in this instance, the answer is speculative. As it suggests, the reason for holding money to take advantage of emerging future opportunities. Questions and answers. We're expected to ask questions and answer questions.